so hello guys welcome back to another video and for this one we want to look at some of the issues that uh, i've seen most of the guys having so if you haven't joined the whatsapp group the link will be in the description you can hop in and maybe we can I'll try and solve some things for you all right so let's go ahead and start with some of the things that you need to have so i have a new browser here so some of the most important things you have to you need to have is node.js so node.js you just need to download it here in case you are running your application and you're telling uh, npm is not recognized or maybe you're trying to install quasar and it's telling you npm is not recognized you'll need to download this node.js and install it in your computer and that will be it just go to node.js.org and download it there so all right so we are out of that point so once you have npm installed or node.js installed you need to install quasar all right assuming you don't have it installed yet. you just come here and install it like this so this g this g means global which means you don't have to set it as a system variable after you have installed it so you just need to run this and you're good to go awesome so we're out of that now the other thing you need to install is java now in case you need to be building mobile applications you'll need java not just any java but java jdk8 right so you'll need to have java jdk of which is this right so they need you to register to download so you just create an account and you download it so you download java jdk which is this and you install it in your computer once you install it on your computer it will be somewhere here you just come uh, to your c folder go to program files and you find it somewhere here so we have this java jdk here all right so our 1.8 and then a jdk file will be generated the jre file ignore this ignore this we're talking about jdk this and this jre so this is what you need right now to make the system variables you just come here go to bin and you're going to copy this this part you're going to copy this part then you're going to come to system variables just go to control panel so that you know how, how to follow up go to the control panel here and you're going to look for system look for anything going with the name system here we go go to system and now you need to go to advanced settings here and go to environment variables so here you go now the first thing you're going to set is java home as you can see we have java home here so java home is just where you have it now you might also need to uh, edit the path here to java as you can see, I have my Java uh, installed as a system as a system var environment variable here. So in case you have you don't have it installed, you just click new and you're going to paste it there. All right. But I have mine installed, so I, I won't need it. Great. Now the next thing you need to do is go to uh, Java GRE file here, and you go to bin copy this and you're going to come back here as you can see i have mine installed just create new and install it there okay so i already have it i don't need it now we are done with the pad now what we need to do is create java home as you can see here so just click on new and you're going to create java home and then now the, the, the path will be this. Go to Java, go to JDK, and this will be our Java home path. So copy this Java home path, go back here, and put it down there. Right? So that will be it. So I already have mine installed, as you can see here. So I will need it. And you're good to go, guys. You can also put them here if you need it, like this. Then also put the this is a system variable. This I'll this up for the user variables. But if you still need uh you need it for system variable, I also suggest you come down here and put exactly what we did up there here. 
all right good so now that one will get you started with uh, mobile applications just note that PHP does not use any other uh, Java version and it's not PHP but Cordova does not allow using any other version of uh, JavaScript now in case you're having another problem where it says PHP is not recognized right so in case you look here where I have my PHP installed let me just show you I have my PHP somewhere in here yeah you also need to set up a composer PHP, PHP, PHP. Let's look for PHP. Okay, I can't find it, but because of time, let me let me show you how you set this up. In case you, the, the PHP classic or any other version of PHP is telling you that PHP is not recognized as an internal command. So what you need to go is go to where you have your uh, exam installed. Where you have your uh, server installed. Go here. So mine is at D. Go to exam. And then as you can see here we have several folders. But we have this one for PHP. So yeah. You copy this folder, the path to that, copy that path, and you're going to come here and create, double click on the path, and create a new PostJPHP there, okay? Then you can come to this path here again, make it a system variable, create a new one, and post it there. All right. So that is generally it. That is how you set up uh, the environment for PHP class for the new RAD systems, so that you can have fun with it. So yeah, I guess that would be just it. And soon you are going to start looking at program uh, some programs with PHP RAD. Be uh, awesome stuff you can be looking at. But yeah, that's generally it. It's not being much complicated, but uh, in case this video is helpful, feel free to. Say something down there. Alright guys, so see you in the next video and goodbye.